Accidents Happen is a really interesting Rugrats episode with some quotes that I want to share that I found to be quite uh, peculiar and quite interesting. This is the first segment of the 27th episode of the sixth season of Rugrats and it starts off with Chucky wetting the bed. And what's quite interesting is that Tommy's in a big boy bed. Tommy hasn't aged in Rugrats. He's still, you know, the same age he he always is. But for the majority of the show so far, he's been in a cot. But in this episode, he's got a big boy bed with his name engraved on the wooden headboard. And I found that to be less charming and more of a continuity error than anything else. Um, And even Chucky, I know Chucky had a big boy bed a couple of seasons ago, but even then Chucky often shares a cot with Tommy when he's staying at Tommy's house. So I'm not sure why they decided to suddenly put Tommy in a big boy bed. Either way, the narrative moves on from that. And Tommy and Phil and Lil overhear the adults saying that Chucky is going backwards. Or rather, Chucky overheard this and told the babies and they think he's going to be turning into a baby like Dill. So they decide to stay awake while Chucky has a nap to see if he wets himself again. I don't really know why they needed to stay awake for that because they would have found out when they woke up anyway. So I feel like there are a lot of holes in this narrative and a lot of things that you need to overlook to enjoy the story. Um, Chucky is obviously very, very nervous about this, very concerned about what's happening and as is Chaz, of course, though Chaz gets Chucky some big boy pants, some training pants to help him ease the transition. It's not so much that he's regressing, it's simply that accidents happen. And uh, it's all about coming to terms with that. For parents with children like Chucky, it's saying this is a normal part of growing up. Sometimes it happens. Here is a solution. For children who are going through this, it can also help to show that actually they're not regressing. You're not going backwards. You're not going to become a baby like Chucky feared. It is simply something that happens and again here is a solution so I thought it was an interesting enough narrative depending on what you're watching it for but in terms of being entertaining there were at least two quotes that I just thought that's a bizarre thing to say and the first one was when Tommy said to Chucky the surprise was in your shorts I thought okay that's a little bit on the nose the surprise was referring to the big boy pants And the other quote from Chucky is, every time we play something fun, I'm going to pee in the bed. And it's just so blunt. And I don't have a problem with that, of course. But I feel like in the earlier seasons of Rugrats, they probably wouldn't have even used the word pee. I could be wrong. They very well might have done. But I feel like they were not as forward with um, bodily fluids and and, natural processes of the body. I feel like they maybe sugarcoated things a little bit more. And I feel like as the seasons have gone on, and of course as time has gone on, and we head towards the 21st century, things are um, a little bit more open, which makes it feel more natural. It's a language that children will understand, so I think that that makes sense. There's a, a subplot with Stu having dyed all of the laundry pink. Dill was quite cute in his pink um, baby grow, but it wasn't. I, di- I didn't care for it. It was definitely filler that didn't need to be there. It's certainly a very, very fascinating episode. Is it a good episode? There are definitely moments. Um, it can be quite educational, quite eye-opening, and for some children, quite relatable. But I wouldn't say it's the best written episode. Some of the quotes are a little awkward. And yeah, Tommy having a big boy bed. I, I don't I don't understand it. I don't know where this came from. Um, did I miss something? Possibly. But either way, um, yeah, it, it's interesting. It's thought provoking. It's an episode that's going to stay with me. Whether, whether that's for the right reason or the wrong reason, I don't know. But accidents happen is, I think, pretty good.